Humans have the ability to destroy our environment, but we can also protect it if we choose to. That's why Ziji actively promotes recycling, which is gaining acceptance in China and Hong Kong, thanks in part to the efforts of local volunteers. In the city of Xiamen, China, volunteers are teaching members of the public how to sort their recyclables. While in Hong Kong, recycling volunteers have been urging members of the public to give items a second lease on life. Let's learn more. Learning a recycling mnemonic is the first step to being a better recycler. And for those who want to learn more, nothing beats some hands-on experience. I think that this effort has a lot of meaning. It can help encourage more people to recycle and sort their recyclables. I'm happy to take part. College students, all of them former Tsuji scholarship recipients, lead high school students in learning more about recycling and as a way to give back. I'm now in my second year of college. I received help from Tsuji in my third year of high school. I feel that helping people makes me happy. And as Master Zheng Yan has said, helping is one of the best things we can do. In Hong Kong Suicide One, volunteers teach locals about recycling through Jingzi publications and dye technology clothing. It's amazing that they can use PED bottles to make clothing and blankets. In addition to protecting this environment, these items can also be used in times of disaster. The elderly also take a moment to join the festivities. Many of the older generation don't really understand recycling, and I often see that they don't recycle their PT bottles, but just throw them in the trash. That is a big waste. However, through today's event, they can learn to do better. With recycling concepts becoming more widespread, more people are coming together to protect our Earth for generations to come.